much. Uh, joining us now, uh, Democratic Congressman Brad Sherman. He's from California. He's a key member of Thank the you. House Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, Congressman, you've asked Sony to allow the interview to be shown on Capitol Hill. You want a special screening here in Washington, right? Yeah, it would be a couple weeks from now when Congress reconvenes. We've had quite a number of movies screened for members of Congress when they had a, a particular human rights or environmental uh, or other issue involved. And uh, everybody's talking about this movie. Uh, Congress ought to know what we're talking about. We ought to see the movie. There's a screening room uh, in the, at, the, at the White House. You'd like to see the, the film played at the White House as well? Absolutely. I think that now that North Korea has waged an attack on our First Amendment, we ought to stand with Sony and stand for this film and demonstrate that it's going to be shown in Atlanta. I look forward to being, it being shown in Northridge. and It'll be shown at the, hopefully at the White House and in the United States Capitol. But in order to uh, stand up for the First Amendment, it's not enough to just get this one film out. We need to give Kim Jong-un a double dose of the First Amendment by doubling our radio broadcasting into the people of North Korea. That is something that will put this regime on notice. They're very concerned. They've done everything possible to wall their people off from the rest of the outside world. And we've got the broadcasting resources that I think can get the message in. What do you say to those who would say, you know what, all of these steps, showing the film on Congress, in Congress, showing the film at the White House, stepping up Voice of America broadcasts, all the other things you're recommending are simply provocative measures that will only make this bad situation even more dangerous. You know, you don't have to do anything to provoke North Korea. They'll, they'll act on their own. This is a country that uses its diplomatic pouches to uh, smuggle drugs into various countries. This is a uh, country that has counterfeited uh, United States currency and is engaged in, in countless uh, terrorist acts around the world. Uh, they kidnapped ordinary Japanese civilians just to have people teach them the cultures and manners of, uh, of, of Japan. Uh, so this is a regime that doesn't need an excuse to act in, the, in the, the most barbaric ways. And what we saw at the United Nations today in the Security Council was an expose on the incredible cruelty that they show their own people. So uh, the idea that, oh my God, you better not touch them, that'll make them do bad things. They're doing bad things around the world and in North Korea every day. Are you 100% convinced the North Koreans are responsible for the hacking of Sony Pictures? Absolutely, as is the president. Would, are you planning on going to see the interview on Christmas Day? Uh, you know, I'm not in Atlanta. I'm not in uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, I look forward to seeing uh, that movie just, uh, just as soon as I can. And I look forward to theaters stepping forward and, and showing it around, uh, around the country. I think there was a natural uh, uh, fear the first few days when the uh, threats from North Korea of blowing up multiplexes uh, were first heard. Uh, but I think that after it shows uh, in a few of these independent theaters, people will calm down and they'll realize uh, good movie or bad movie, it's a movie that we as Americans need to stand up and see. Congressman Brad Sherman of California, thanks very much for joining us. Good to be with you all. Uh, let's